Hey, so you want to learn how to delete columns in your Excel spreadsheet using Python, but you just don't know how. Don't worry, I got you. Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can delete a single column or multiple columns, as well as explaining a little bit about what axis, parentheses, brackets, and braces are as I'll be using these in the video. All right, let's get started. First, we'll be going over some of the terms that we'll be using throughout this video. The first is axis. It can be defined for arrays with more than one dimension. A two-dimensional array has two corresponding axes, the first running vertical downwards across the row, which we call axis zero, and the second running horizontally across the columns, which we'll call axis 1. Next, we'll talk about the differences between parentheses, brackets, and braces. Parentheses are used to make tuples. A tuple is like a list of things that you can't change. Imagine you have a list of your favorite colors, red, blue, and green. You can think of this list as a tuple. You can look at the list of colors in the tuple and talk about them but you cannot change them or add any new colors. The colors in the tuple are fixed and will always stay the same. For example, a game might use a tuple to store the character's name, gender, etc. that will stay the same throughout the game. Brackets are used to make lists. A list is like a collection of things that you can change and add to. Imagine you have a list of your favorite toys. You can think of this as a list in Python. You can look at the toys in the list and play with them. You can also add new toys to the list or take away toys from the list. The toys in the list can be changed and rearranged as you like. For example, a program might use a list to store a list of names of people who have signed up for the newsletter. The program can add new names to the list or remove names from the list as needed. Braces are used to make a dictionary. A dictionary is like a collection of things that are organized using a special word called key. Imagine you have a toy box and inside the toy box, you have a bunch of toys. You can think of the toy box as the dictionary. Each toy in the toy box has a special label or name called key. You can use this key to find the toy you want from the toy box. For example, a program might use a dictionary to store a list of names and phone numbers. You can use the name as the key to quickly look up the person's phone number. All right, so let's start off by importing pandas. So type in import pandas as pd. Next, we'll need to import our data. So we'll type in df1 equals pd.read underscore csv inside our parentheses and single quotes we need to put the path for our files so go ahead and right click and copy path if you're using the google collabs and paste it into our code next we'll need to type in the line to remove our column so we'll go ahead and type in df as a new variable equals df1.drop Inside our parentheses and single quotes, we'll need to type in the column header name. So in this case, we'll just use agency, comma, access equals one, because we want to move the column, not the row. So next, we'll need to print our data frame. Perfect, and you can see agency is gone. If we want to switch it up and do, let's say, uh, posting type. So let's go ahead and change that. And let's print that. You can see agency column is back and the posting type is gone. Now to remove multiple columns, we can do that as well. So I will go ahead and start a new line. So we'll do df equals df1.drop. Now inside the parentheses, we'll type in columns equals and inside our brackets, we will list out the column header name. So we'll type in agency, 
comma inside simple quotes we'll type level let's do posting type so now we'll go ahead and type in access equals one again and let's print this and see and you can see agency level and the posting type is gone if you want to use other columns you can let's go ahead and change the level to full-time part-time indicator and let's print that up and you can see that level is back but the full-time part-time indicator is gone all right i hope you found this video useful don't forget to like and share this video and as always i'll see you next time